For years, if you wanted a proper fighter jet, you looked at the big boys. You had the Americans with their hugely expensive F-35S and F-16S, the French with their achingly cool but pricey Rafale, and the Russians with their brutish powerful Supers. These were the established names, the ones with all the headlines and the massive government contracts. And then there was the Saab Gripen. Tucked away in Sweden, this little jet was often seen as the sensible, slightly boring choice. It was the Volvo of the skies, safe, reliable, but not exactly the sort of thing to set your hair on fire. Many nations, when shopping for new toys for their air forces, would give it a polite nod before moving on to the flashier, more famous options on the market. People just didn't seem to take it seriously enough. They'd say it was too small or that it lacked the sheer muscle of its rivals. Pundits and analysts would line up the specifications, pointing out that an American or Russian jet had a slightly higher top speed or could carry a few more missiles. It was constantly being compared and in many people's minds found wanting. The Gripen was the clever understated underdog in a world that seemed to value raw thunderous power above all else. It was like bringing a precision tool to a sledgehammer fight. Everyone assumed that bigger and more expensive automatically meant better leaving the Swedish contender waiting patiently in the wings for its moment to shine. This perception wasn't helped by the fact that Saab, as a company, isn't exactly known for shouting from the rooftops. While other defense giants were making grand pronouncements and showing off their hardware at every opportunity, the Swedes just quietly got on with the job of refining their creation. They focused on efficiency, on clever engineering, and on making a jet that was practical for nations without bottomless budgets. But in the high-stakes game of military procurement, quiet competence doesn't always grab the headlines. So, the Gripen remained a respected but often sidelined player, a brilliant piece of kit that many decision makers simply glanced over on their way to something with a more famous badge. The result was that the Gripen built a reputation for being a niche aircraft, perfect for countries like Sweden or the Czech Republic, but perhaps not a top-tier contender for the global stage. It was seen as the smart, economical choice for those who couldn't afford the real frontline fighters. This view persisted for a long, long time, cementing the Gripen's status as the perpetual dark horse. Little did everyone know that Saab was playing a long game, and that this supposedly modest jet was being engineered into something truly formidable, ready to completely upend the established order when the time was right. The world was about to get a very big surprise. And then, in April 2025, the unthinkable happened. Colombia, a nation that had been courted by every major player in the fighter jet business announced its decision. They weren't buying American F-16S. They weren't getting the French Rafale. They were going with the Gripen. The news landed like a bombshell in the defense world. All the experts and analysts who had predicted a win for one of the traditional powerhouses were left scratching their heads. How on earth had the little Swedish jet, the one everyone kept underestimating, managed to pull off such a stunning victory right in America's backyard? It was a proper David and Goliath moment a complete reversal of expectations. The competition had been fierce to say the least. The Americans were pushing their legendary F-16, a proven platform with deep political backing. The French had their sophisticated and combat-tested Rafale. These weren't just sales pitches, they were massive geopolitical plays. In fact, things got so heated that in March 2025, there were even whispers that the US might try to block the sale by refusing to allow the Gripen's American-made engine to be exported to Colombia. It was a clear attempt to muscle the Swedes out of the running. But Saab stood firm, confirmed all the paperwork was in order, and didn't back down. This resilience in the face of immense pressure made the eventual win even more spectacular. For Colombia, the decision came down to a simple yet brilliant calculation. They needed a modern, capable fighter that wouldn't bankrupt the country to buy or to operate. Previous talks for new jets had collapsed over cost, so price was a huge factor. The Gripen EF, with its surprisingly competitive price tag of around $85 million per unit, presented a compelling argument. But it wasn't just about the initial cost. As part of the deal, Saab offered significant industrial benefits, including a plan to build a solar panel factory in Colombia. This wasn't just buying a plane. It was an investment in the country's own economy. A clever move that made the Swedish offer stand out. This victory was more than just a single contract. It was a fundamental shift in the Gripen story. It proved that the jet was no longer just a budget option, but a genuine contender capable of winning against the biggest names in the industry on merit. The Colombian deal sent a clear message to the world. The smart fighter had arrived, and it was ready to compete on the global stage. 
for Saab. It was the ultimate vindication of their long-term strategy of focusing on efficiency, advanced technology and genuine partnership. The overlooked Swedish upstart had finally and deservedly stepped into the spotlight, leaving its rivals stunned. So, what exactly makes this new Gripen EF model so special? Well, you can forget the old idea of it being a simple no-frills jet. This thing is a technological marvel. Saab calls it a smart fighter. And for once, that's not just marketing fluff. It's packed with some of the most advanced electronics you can find in the sky. It has a state-of-the-art AESA radar, which can track multiple targets on the ground, in the sea, and in the air simultaneously, with incredible precision. It's also loaded with a sophisticated electronic warfare suite, designed not just to jam enemy signals, but to use them to create a perfect picture of the battlefield. It's less of a blunt instrument and more of a flying supercomputer. One of the Gripen's most brilliant features and something other manufacturers often forget is its maintenance. A fighter jet is no good if it's spending all its time in a hangar with an army of technicians fussing over it. The Gripen was designed from the ground up to be easy to run. It can be refueled, rearmed and sent back into the air by a small ground crew in a matter of minutes. It doesn't even need a proper runway. A short stretch of ordinary road will do. This means it can operate from dispersed hidden bases, making it incredibly difficult for an enemy to find and destroy on the ground. For any air force, that level of operational flexibility is priceless. And then there's the price. In a world where top tier fighters can cost well over $100 million a piece, the Gripen EF comes in at a refreshingly sane 85 million. That makes it cheaper than a Rafale, a Typhoon, and even some of the latest American models. But this isn't a case of getting what you pay for in a bad way. You're getting a jet with cutting-edge capabilities for a fraction of the cost. This incredible value proposition is what has suddenly put the Gripen back on the map in so many countries. They can now afford a truly 21st century Air Force without having to sell off the family silver to pay for it. At its core, the Gripen EF represents a different philosophy of air power. It's not about having the absolute fastest or biggest jet. It's about having the smartest. It's about using superior sensors, data links, and artificial intelligence to outthink the opponent, rather than just trying to outmuscle them. It's a beautifully Swedish solution, pragmatic, incredibly clever, and devastatingly effective. This combination of advanced technology, low running costs, and a competitive price tag is the magic formula that has transformed the Gripen from an underdog into a world beater. The Colombian deal didn't happen in a vacuum. It was the spectacular culmination of a strategy that Saab had been carefully building in South America for over a decade. The real groundwork was laid back in 2014, when Brazil, the continent's largest power, made the monumental decision to choose the Gripen for its own air force. They signed a deal for 36 aircraft, a move that stunned many at the time. This wasn't just a simple purchase, it was a deep partnership. The deal included a massive technology transfer program, ensuring that a significant portion of the jets would be built right there in Brazil by Brazilians. This partnership with Brazil was a game changer. Saab helped establish a full-fledged Gripen development and assembly line near Sao Paulo, creating a regional industrial hub for the fighter. This meant that South America wasn't just buying a Swedish jet, it was now helping to build and improve it. This local presence gave Saab a massive advantage. When Colombia was looking for a new fighter, Saab could offer a product that was partially made in South America, with a supply chain and support network already in place right on their doorstep. It was a brilliant strategic move that made the Gripen a much more attractive and logical choice for other nations in the region. With Brazil as a major operator and production partner, and Colombia now signed on as the latest customer, the Gripen has firmly established itself as a dominant force in the South American skies. What started as a single ambitious sale has blossomed into a regional success story. This growing Gripen Club creates a network effect. As more neighboring countries operate the same platform, it opens up possibilities for joint training, shared logistics, and enhanced interoperability, strengthening regional security cooperation. The jet is no longer an outsider. It's becoming the new standard. The Gripen's unbelievable comeback is now complete. It has transformed its image from an overlooked, sensible alternative into a highly sought-after, top-tier fighter. Its journey shows that in the end, smart design, genuine partnership, and relentless innovation can triumph over bigger budgets and political muscle. The little Swedish jet that could has not only proven its doubters wrong, but has redrawn the map of air power in a whole continent. The Gripen is no longer the underdog, it's the smart champion, and its success in South America is a powerful testament to its brilliant design and a lesson for all its competitors.